Australians appeared at a meeting of the United Nations and invited Earth to join the Galactic Federation. But there was a catch. We had one year to prepare and to send a team of unarmed warriors to represent our world in the Galactic Combat Games. Our status within the Federation will be decided on how well they compete. When the Argentinian delegates voted no, they disappeared, along with Argentina as a landmass from the globe. The UN therefore unanimously voted yes to accept the aliens' kind offer. Facts about the aliens. The Federation sent an ambassador, Andromeda, a metamorph capable of changing her appearance to match nearly any race, who was to report on and monitor the Earth's progress in selecting a team. She is also my co-presenter here on Combat TV, the official station covering the UK trials live. Named after the nebula of her home galaxy, Andromeda brings a wealth of information to the team. fight anymore. Twenty years of dedicated training, being selected again to captain the British Olympic team. Oh, it was the greatest day of my life. Yes. We screwed a wire cage through his skin to try to get to heal his leg. 
it unfortunately failed and gave him a bone infection that nearly killed him. We thought about removing his leg, but he insisted that we try bone graft instead. He was so weak, I was almost sure it wouldn't work. We took the graft from his hip in order to treat the infected leg. What? Time will tell. Will be able to fight again? Fight? I don't even think he'll ever be able to walk. <coughs> treatment worked. Well, I had to learn to walk again though. Over time I learned to ignore the pain, even though the effort of each step showed on my face. I had to literally rebuild myself. I don't fight anymore. I only started training again. I must be on a dozen different painkillers. What Stop is right there. I haven't got time to listen to you feeling sorry for yourself. I don't need you to fight. But I, England, needs your help. What for? We need you to put together a team of fighters from any discipline to represent the UK. So what do you want me to do? I want you to find and test a UK team. Come in. Mr. Alexander. Thank you, Lomax. Ciao, ciao, Marcello. A demain, Sophie. Bonjour. Say tien li ting. Tschüss, Kesa. Bis morgen. Yamate-san, Matashita. Hasta mañana, Sebastian. Mr. Alexander, Commander X gave me a full report with recordings of all your fights. You're an exceptional fighter. Was. The accident put an end to my career. Your mind is in turmoil, suffering a great deal of pain. I chose to live with the pain. But I sense you're growing stronger. I cannot explain why. You are a brave warrior. Was. Mr. Alexander, you cannot even begin to think what the Earth team will be facing. The Relictalians are the current galactic champions, and they are not happy that Earth will now be competing. I don't trust them. Why? They are evil, and they will stop at nothing to prevent Earth from sending a team. You sound like you hate them. My father fought them. Fought and lost. Fought and died. On my planet, those who compete in the games are considered great heroes. Leaders may plan, but it is the warrior who wins honor. Well, I've still got my honor. Look, I'm sorry. It's just I really wish I could still compete. 
While Earth's fighters may eventually face the Creel, they are superb warriors, but they are also opponents who never show mercy. Race is special. Do you have someone special? Someone back home? On your planet? No. I mean, my work doesn't allow me the chance. No, nobody's special. Do you wanna. Do you wanna go for dinner sometime? Just to talk, I mean. Yeah. Yes. Talk would be good. Now. Back to work. Who do you recommend for the trials? Cover your gloves and foot pads with this. It's a neuromuscular paralyzing cream. Make sure that you use rubber gloves when you put it on. See, as soon as contact is made with skin, it takes effect almost immediately, causing temporary loss of muscular control. Let's just say that it's powerful enough to give you a distinct advantage. See, we can, we, we will not have Chinese, Black, Asian, whatever, in the UK team. So I've arranged for you, Zone 3 Warriors, to fight all non-white competitors. And in that way, one by one, you will cleanse the team. Gentlemen, the team. The team. And for those of you who've just joined us, let me recap. Zone 1 has always got three zone fighters, each in their own designated areas. Combatants may choose to fight either two or three opponents to cross the room. Either one at a time, or if the combatant decides to make it harder for themselves, they can choose to enter the central red all-in area, thereby choosing to fight all zone fighters simultaneously. More points, but a much harder challenge. Trey is age 21, 6 foot 1, and weighs in at 140 pounds. He's a third Dan double Olympian gold medal winner. That's my wife. She's got my wife. Ah. Ah. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, that was just plain rude, wasn't it? I'm going back over there. I'm going. Just sit. Seriously, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Fine. Just let it go. 
<laughs> Oi! Hey! Hey, come on! Whoa! Do that one more time and you're out. Do you understand me? Yeah, do you, yeah, yeah, do yeah. you understand yeah. me? Yeah! It's cool, man, it's cool. in Bangkok. And we went to Madame Moth Moth's. Madame Moth Moth. Rumor had it, it was the best knocking shop in the whole of Asia. Reggie caught the eye of this sleazy young blonde type. Dead ringer for Britney Spears. You did that on purpose, you shit. I'm sorry. You spare any change? <laughs> change? Copper? You turned. I'll give you something, all right. Good evening, gentlemen. Sorry to interrupt your little party. Are you a police officer? No. What seems to be the problem? Well, then, this is none of your business. Well, actually, it is. This man is on my doorstep. What's he done to you anyway? Look. Bloody well, F off, if you don't fancy more of the same. No, let me take him to a hospital. Did your mother not teach you to help the needy? <laughs> and to respect the seniors. <laughs> Guess not. You're right, mate. Would you let me take you to hospital? No, seriously. I'll be alright, really. Would you like something to eat or a cup of coffee, perhaps? It was a nice takeaway. Stand there. Thank you. It's a nice car you got there, mate. Thank you, just, uh, just picked it up today. I was fancied an Aston Martin myself. Either that or a bed.
seen the guy since we last competed together, which was before my accident. We talked, we joked, and then I got down to it. I needed them to compete in the trials. I needed them in the team. They wanted to know what I thought our chances would be when, if we got that far, we competed against the aliens. What chance have we got against these aliens, anyway? Minimum. Find some survivors coming back as heroes. Hey, it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Let's put it inside. Let's do it, guys. Do it. Acrophobia, yes. The heart of your problem is very clear to me. Confidence. You have lost your confidence in being amongst people. More importantly, confidence with yourself. Yeah, easy to see, but what am I to do? I've lost my job, my boyfriend. Maybe all my friends will stop. There is nothing wrong that cannot be treated. Look, I teach a special class. A martial arts class. It's free and I really think it would help if you came along and gave it a try. Good afternoon and thank you for coming. All of you have been victims of abuse. This is where it ends and the new you begins. This is where you can learn to defend yourselves in a like-minded, unthreatening environment. Now, before we begin, and for the benefit of any new members in the group, I just want to reiterate the ground rules. Martial arts training will make you stronger, increase your confidence, and make you capable of defending yourselves in scary situations. But with the training comes responsibility. Martial arts techniques are for self-defense, not offense. Aggression is a weakness. And if I witness it in my class, first time you will be cautioned. The second time you will be expelled from the group. Work and train hard and you will empower yourselves. Walk the path of the warrior and you will retake control of your lives. Now, everyone up. Let's begin by jogging in circles round the room. Hop! Damn black belt in the world. Perfect. Don't even think about it.
fighters of the trial see this first Zone 1 fight as a mere formality. We got Gitachi and Trey and then Trojan in their Zone 3. You two are scheduled to fight Kenny Mack and our other chick Zulu. Zulu? What kind of stupid chinky name is that? <laughs> <laughs> Zone 3 fighters to the floor, please. Fighters are racist. Commander X will allow Commander me. X isn't here. He'll be flying in later tonight. To announce the selected team. And I'm in charge here. And I'm, I'm not stopping the trials. Okay then. I want to complete. But you're not fit. Fine. But you do realize that if you're defeated in the trials, you'll no longer be able to captain the team. We can't have a loser in charge now, can we? The risk of leading from the front. I wouldn't have any other way. But you don't have nothing to do but to stand still and keep me peckerard. Ron? Matt? What's up with them? Gangsters. Bethnal Greenlands. Hey, no, no, it's, they're just having a bit of fun with young Shelley. They're friends of the boss. Don't get involved. I'm not scared of them, are you, Ron? These guys will chainsaw your legs off before telling you to catch the bus home. You're hurting me. Shatty, you tar, you know you love it. I think it's time for you to leave, sir. You're barred. <laughs> Now take out your wallet. She broke my arm! Shelley? Be a good boy. Give her a big tip. Get out and take your boys with you. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Roger. Gangsters. Tweenies more like. Mummy? Yes, 
Yes, darling. How long will you be away for? Oh, maybe a few days, maybe longer. Daddy says you're going to fight, and my teacher at school says it's very naughty to fight. Yeah, but this is different. I've got a reason to fight. But why? I'm fighting for my country, but more importantly, I'm fighting for you and Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> More like a priest, no, I like that. I say, have you got that already? The boys have arrived. These boys are my star pupils in the class. They sit there, boys, right? These are the boys I've been telling you about, that Diane, right? This is George, right? And that's Lois. Hey, you'll be working with these boys, won't you? You'll love it. But Diane here, she'll be starting next term, right? And I want you both to be looking after her, right? Would you like to have this present? Go look at all the boys I brought you, eh? You have a wee shot at me. Right? You have a wee shot. You give them. Right? Oh. I tell you what, Diane, you'll be doing this, right? You'll be doing this next term. Are you ready? Right? Who's? Who's? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Daddy. So, okay. I just flew in. The shoe went really well. I got the front cover. Yes! Oh. Well, come on then. Can you show me your latest moves? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Right, mate. Yeah, no problem.
This is the way you greet your only brother. More will be decided in the trials. match to end in death. It was a bloody accident. Composition rules are very clear on this. I'm sorry. Disqualified. You bloody fool. The team needs me. No, oh, temper, temper. Well, I'm sure we wouldn't want to fight with such an attitude problem on the team anyway. champions. Not seen in over four years, the question everybody now is asking is, is he even fit enough to compete? Can I help you? Do not enter the trials. That is not an option. Do not enter the trials, or there will be trouble. <laughs> You're not the right color to fight for our country. You have been warned. You cannot stop me from competing. And if I hear that you have been trying to intimidate any other competitors, you have to answer to me. I'll see you in the trials. If you're not white, you don't fight. What was all that about? A warning. What kind of warning? Not to enter the trials. No worries. By the way, I'm Zulu. Pleased to meet you, Zulu. I'm Andromeda. I've seen your files. This is my PA, Kim Lee. I've seen all your international fights. I'm a big fan of yours. It's a pleasure to meet you. Seems like he dropped this. What on earth is that thing? This is Federation technology, a morphing device. Seems like I'm not the only alien here.
Wow. You look really beautiful. Thank you. Oh, do you want to come in? Sorry. Thank you. This is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Oh, can I get you a glass of water? Yes, please. So... May I pick this? Sure. Ah. Uh, well, that's a dragon fruit. Have you ever seen one before? No, no it's beautiful. I'll prepare some for you. This is my garden kitchen. All the food I eat, I grow here myself. Nothing cooked. Everything is, as you can see, organically prepared. And all you have to do is pick it, prepare it, and serve it up. It reminds me of how my home world was. How it was? My planet was destroyed by the Federation. Now it's dead, barren, decimated. When we lost in the games, they stripped our planet of all its natural resources. So because you lost, they destroyed your world? It was more than that. My people were part of a movement to bring about change to the Federation. The games were just an opportunity to crush our revolt. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's better to have tried and failed than to exist afraid of fighting back. Mm. So, how are your preparations for the trials coming along? Well, I mean, I saw Zulu and he... Zulu, yes. I met him at the training compound today. Yeah. He's an old team friend of mine. You know, we used to be in the team together and he's a good, good friend. And he's trying to help me, you know, get some of the guys together from before. Like Kathy, Paul, Kenny Mack, Billy Boy. Or possible team members, then? Well, they're the best the UK have got. I want you to try something. You ever seen one of these? No, what is it? It's a star fruit. <laughs> You'd like to try some? Yes, I would love to. Great, let me prepare some for you. Here you go. See how sweet it smells? Mmm. Hope you like it. It tastes just like bulbar excrement. Would you like some wine? It's homegrown. Alcohol? It's not too strong. Water will suffice, thank you. Okay. Mm. That's good. All right. May I try some of your wine? Sure, I'd be delighted. There you go. Cheers? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Now that we have enjoyed your dating ritual of food and wine. Shall we partake in sex? <coughs> I'm sorry, I just, you know, uh, <coughs> I just didn't expect it, you know. It's our first, it's our first date, I mean. When we warriors meet our mate, we know instinctively if it is somebody that we can love. We know straight away. I resisted in telling you the last time we met. But now I can see very clearly that you are to be my mate. I'm very flattered, I mean. Suddenly I'm feeling quite full. 
we should uh let's go to the bedroom In the next stage of the trials, not only is each warrior timed against the clock on a five kilometer run, but they must also face one of the following combatant teams. The ninjas, the heavy brigade, the masked warriors, the schoolies, or the ninjets. As indicated in red, several fighters are moving across the city at the same time. Our combat teams in green move in to confront them. Second combat team. Let's have a big welcome now for the Ninjets. Three gorgeous, rubbishing young ladies, all willing and eager to kick you in the head.
idea the odds of us meeting out here. Oh, yeah. I'm heading north. If they're heading south, take O Street. It's a clear route. Okay, but listen, if you're going that way, just avoid Romboy's Avenue, okay? It is full of Joe Smokes. I nearly got smoke down there, so just take it easy. Be careful. Stay lucky. For England. For Earth. Again, either one at a time 
or both together. Well, next up is female boxing champ Kathy Brown. Referred to as the sweet science, boxers use elaborate foot maneuvers and quick jabs to mount an offence. allowed the zone warriors to attack him together. There's something definitely not right here. He's just standing there taking it. Oh, what a beating! Trey is out of the competition. He fought valiantly, but in the end, all he has achieved is a date with an orthodontist and a plastic surgeon.
Alexander, I've just analysed Trey and I detected traces of tubocurane chloride on his skin. The Zone 3 fighters must have coated their pads with a neuromuscular paralysing drug. I'll see to it, I won't be fighting again today. And what about the paralysing drug? Won't it affect you? Not if they don't touch me. Okay. I'll give Kim Lee an antidote cream and she can give it to those who need it. This may be a competition, but it certainly isn't a game.
but an exhausting one. But she's through. Combat TV, truly global phenomenon. Zone 3 fighters, they're racist. They use this paraglizing oh cream to cover their gloves. That's what they use to beat Trey. Use this cream, put it on your face, neck and arms, okay? Good luck. Thanks. Zulu has just decided he's going to take these two on at the same time. Seems like this is turning into a bit of a grudge match. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we have been tricked. This, this is not George Long, but his brother Lewis, who was thrown out of the trials in his own one fight for use of excessive force. <laughs> no one knows what's, what's going on. I, I don't know if- Should we keep the cameras rolling? Hell yeah, this is sensational. Here's his brother George coming to the floor. It's when you gotta come from me. While you were studying Feng Shui, I was studying the Isles of War. So what? Congratulations. You scored the highest marks of all the competitors so far. Well done. judges to decide who has scored the most points and ran the fastest times. Together, these will add up to
missing home. Not any longer. If we make it that far, if we go to fight off world, do you really think we'll have a chance? <laughs>